A chemical compound is divided into two parts, the cation and the anion. When the cation is a metal and the anion is a non-metal, then that will be an ionic bond. And in this video, we are going to show you how to name the ionic compounds. So in ionic compounds, we have type 1 and type 2. So let us see, we'll start with type 1. Now let's take, for example, the compound KCl. Now this compound is type 1. How did you know this is type 1? We check the cation. This cation is one of the type 1 cations. So check this list here and you'll see all the type 1 cations. So when you have this here, it means that this is type 1 and it means that this compound is type 1. So how do you name this? We'll start off by naming this normally. This K is called potassium. And CL is chlorine. So you will write here chlorine. And you will just take the root, which is chlor. So you'll take the root chlor. And then at the end, you'll add IDE. That's how you can simply name a type 1 compound. So if you had here, for example, instead of chloride, if you had oxygen, then you will not write oxygen at the end you will write oxide and for example if you had sulfur then you will not write sulfur you will write sulfide and so on with other examples check out at the end of, you, of the video i will put some exercises for you to try now let us see the type 2 compounds how can we name them so for example you have here pb Oh, how can we name this now this cation is from the type 2 cations check out this list here and you'll see that so why is it from the type 2 because this PB or also called lead can give sometimes two electrons and sometimes it can give four electrons now how can we name it so first of all we'll start by naming this here which is oxygen but we will write oxide instead of oxygen and then we will check how many electrons does oxygen need oxygen always needs needs two electrons so because oxygen needs two electrons it means that lead will give two electrons so this here we will call lead and in brackets we will write two so this will be lead two oxide and that is how you can name the type two compound simply